officers because they have Vice Admiral Mark Ferguson III, the Naval Personnel and Deputy Chief of Naval Operations, recently visited Naval Air Station Sigonella to talk about the big topics around the Navy, as well as take questions from Sigonella sailors on subjects that affect them close to home. I personally, being a limited duty officer, asking questions about the, uh, the strength of the limited duty officer community, and uh, no other opportunity will they be afforded to speak with the person himself responsible for making those, uh, those decisions that are going to uh, pave the way for the future of the Navy. Admiral Ferguson touched on numerous subjects during his speech, such as the benefits of the post-9-11 GI Bill and individual augmentee deployments. He was especially impressed by how directly involved Sigonella was to the Navy's push for maritime strategy. I would tell you that I see in action all elements of the maritime strategy here, and I think that that's an important piece of meeting uh, the nation's needs that sailors here should never forget. They are truly serving the nation and the maritime strategy by their service in uh, the Sixth Fleet. Admiral Ferguson ended his time on Sigonella with words of wisdom to the junior sailors. For the word of advice that I would give sailors is to focus on their own individual performance, to continue to seek those demanding jobs of leadership and responsibility, and to serve in places like Sigonella or Naples, to go overseas, do the hard jobs, seek responsibility, focus on their performance, their physical fitness and their health, and I think that the opportunities are almost limitless for them. As Chief of Naval Personnel, Admiral Ferguson has oversight on more than 20,000 military and civilian employees worldwide. This is the Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer David Charleston.